Uh, it's kind of bright out, but it's only 5.30 in the morning. Weather um, is uh, on 130% perfect, so we're just gonna get in this car and head up to the mountain for another session on the jump. And um, it's kind of difficult to do blog links in the morning because I feel slightly retarded because it's still really early for you, even for me. So I guess we're gonna head on up and jump some jumps. Have fun with it. That's the plan for today. But first I gotta wake up. Otherwise, that'd be really bad if I fell asleep again in the air. Hey, Warner. Hey, what's going Warner's on? gonna head at the jump on his GS skis. Sweet plan. You really carry the skis like a pro. Dude, I am <laughs> tired. They suck it, he just woke up. <laughs> yeah, human just woke me up literally like three minutes ago. But that extra sleep was totally worth it. <laughs> we'll see you up there. I mean, it's not gonna be like crazy spin, 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 but like you could easily do like switch road five, under five, switch road five, under five. Ooh, <laughs> that's terrible. Ten, like five, ten years down the road when. Maybe. Then I might agree with the people hating on it being aerials. Yeah. No, I don't know if you were fucking holding mute or blunt the whole way. It's tight. But you know how big the jump would have to be to do yeah, that? Man. Yeah, huge. And not safe. It would have to be a step down to have that much air. That speed, yeah. But maybe by then they'll figure out a way to winch landings better so they can be super steep or something, you know? Like maybe you can have like an insanely steep 67 degree landing or something. I don't know. That would. It's hard to predict these things, man. It's the future. See, that's the best thing about ski racing. A turn's gonna be a turn in five years. Yeah. We're back here on the glacier. We were aiming to do a morning shoot this morning, but you know we came up here. Weather was looking great, and then there's a little bit of wind, and then there's a lot of or a lot more little bit of wind, and then it was kind of windy. Then the clouds came, and the wind came even more, and it got real icy. So I took a couple. And I switched my gear up because we couldn't jump, so we were shut down. So I switched my gear up and uh, did a couple GS turns. Kind of sucking actually. I'm, I was really hoping that I would have gotten, you know, the perfect technique down by now, but I have not. I still have a lot of work to do. So, uh, we, you know, I probably took like 12 runs. And now I'm gonna have another burrito. And then we're probably gonna go and uh, play some volleyball. Because at least we're getting halfway decent on that. But it's, it's nice. I like training though. I guess that's kind of the wrap up for today. Can't really report much from US at the assist. Not much went down today. What we're doing here is, well. God, it fucking smells too. No, it doesn't. <laughs> yeah, something smells terrible. It's not me. <laughs> My nail got real hurt about a month ago, and now it's about to fall off. But it's not completely falling off, and it's been hurting me for an hour. And we just did a try a second ago with Andreas trying to pull it off. Oh! You did fall off. <laughs> <laughs> you fell off. Oh, that's something to see. That was a... <laughs> Didn't work, so now we're bringing out the uh, heavy artillery. And I know I seem like a girl, but it does hurt badly. And like, just the idea of looking at that, it's <laughs> Did
<laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> That's it. Uh, that looks like an elephant nail. <laughs> God, dude, that is disgusting. <laughs> oh. Uh, oh. Is there a nail there. like? Yeah. I can't yeah. really see a nail underneath. <laughs> you got there. a fucked up nail. <laughs> But at least now I can play volleyball. And then just laughing real hard. Well, you got a broken nail. I'll pull that off you. <laughs> Ow, it's bleeding. I'm about to die. They're going to go play volleyball. <laughs> that hurt, Warner.